And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, in today's video we've actually got quite a lot of stuff to discuss ahead of our clash, of course, against Kilmarnock, we've got a bit of a injury blow, or a boost, whatever way you look at it, uh, we've got a bit with regards to more on the Rangers uh, fight for compensation against Dundee, as they're looking to fight against Rangers claim for compensation. Uh, Rangers have also agreed a deal. Yes, a very, very interesting deal, which we'll discuss. It is a done deal. No speculation surrounding that. Uh, whilst also discussing a bit on the clash against Kilmarnock. But let's get straight into the news this morning. Yes, Connor Goldson has been ruled out for the rest of the season. The Rangers centre-back won't feature in the final four league matches or the Scottish Cup final after a knee injury. Philippe Clement confirmed this morning that the defender would be sidelined until next season after a nasty knock picked up in training uh, it's not clear yet when Goldson will be fit to return to training only that he won't be involved for the remainder of the campaign that means Rangers will be without the ever present 31 year old for the remaining two crucial clashes against Celtic first he will miss the final Scottish Premiership encounter with their Glasgow rivals at Parkhead and he also won't play in the Scottish Cup final against Celtic at Hamden later this month Clement said Wednesday in training Connor Goldson hurt his knee bad he will be out for the rest of the season after a scan it is a big blow. He has played 48 games so far this season. He is one of the leaders. He said to me he wanted to be in the dressing room to support the boys. Uh, the Rangers manager also confirmed that long-term absentees Oscar Cortez and Danilo will remain on the sidelines until the summer. So neither will play a part in the run-in as the club fights to win the league and the Scottish Cup. Um, of course, Connor Goldson hasn't played the last two games and... Um, and also, obviously, we've won those last two games. Obviously, I think he was dropped um, and didn't play and didn't feature because of those. In those two games, we did win. I think we're in safe hands. Really, not safeish hands. Let's be perfectly honest. I'm not saying that Balogun and, and, and Suter are, are the best defenders ever, um, but I don't think they're any worse than sort of Connor Goldson, if you like. And I don't think Goldson has been that great so far towards over the last few games. So I think that would have been the the, the back the back two the centre back partnership for the range of the campaign until a mistake was made um, so not really that much of a blow that we may have once thought it was going to be uh, Oscar Cortes Danilo um, I'm interested to see what happens with Danilo of course uh, no sorry not Danilo Oscar Cortes of course because he is on loan but I think he's been a player that's been absolutely fantastic when he has played uh, for Rangers so I really do hope that deal does go ahead in terms of we get him on a permanent transfer but hopefully um, he's not one of these crooks that we're just going to be signing him to a sort of five year contract contract if he does come in and he's going to be a crook for the rest of time because we can't be having any of these people in our team anymore we need to get them out of the door in terms of the crooks that are players that never play and uh, yeah say, see the back of them but I do like Oscar Cortez hopefully Danilo is ready to go I keep forgetting about Danilo we're talking about strikers and what we've got Danilo probably is our best striker but it's been missing for the most much of the campaign um, and people would have said that he'll be back and ready to go for the post uh, split fixtures and maybe the cups uh, semi-final cup final however that hasn't been the case which I suppose is a bit of a blow too now as I said this morning we brought to you this news that Rangers were looking for compensation against Dundee um, just like a petty and I like Rangers being a little bit petty it was just sort of travel costs and hotel costs however Dundee will be reportedly fighting Rangers demand for a five figure compensation fee after their Scottish Premiership fixture at Dens Park was postponed twice it's claimed Dundee Chiefs will battle against the claim for compensation from Rangers over travel and accommodation costs it was earlier reported as I stated that Rangers officials want Dundee to front the costs of, for two overnight stays at St Andrews as well as travel costs for the postponed matches the games which were called off in March and April respectively have already proved costly for Dundee with Sky Sports gaining £30,000 in compensation after they lost out on two broadcast opportunities. This has been covered by Dundee as a part of their £150,000 fine of which £120,000 is suspended until the end of next season. While Dundee accepted the fine from the SPFL and covered the Sky Sports fees, they won't really be willing to pay up Rangers' demands. Um, as stated, um, an interesting one, but I do think they need to pay and I like the fact that my football club are being petty 
Um, because it was an absolute embarrassment and a waste of time. And it's just piling on a bit more uh, agony for Dundee ahead of the summer when they get their new pitch sorted. Now, again, we are starting to come to that sort of time of year, guys. And you've already started to hear transfer rumours and all these kind of things over the last um, couple of days, couple of weeks. And actually, Rangers have agreed a very interesting deal. Yes, it's a done deal. And that is that Rangers goalkeeper, Kieran Wright, has joined Livingston on an emergency loan deal. Yes, the 24-year-old has joined David Martindale squad ahead of their match against Motherwell on Saturday. Wright, who signed for Rangers in 2016, has been on the bench in several European matches this season but hasn't been involved in any domestic match days for the Ibrox club this term. Now though, Wright could be handed the opportunity to play in the Scottish Premiership for the first time this season at Livingston. The goalkeeper was quickly signed on a seven day emergency loan after an injury to Livingston's Jack Hamilton. A Livingston club statement confirmed Livingston FC had announced that goalkeeper Kieran Wright has joined joined the club on a seven-day emergency loan from Rangers FC. The 25-year-old trained with the Lions this morning and goes straight into the matchday squad for tomorrow's trip to Fir Park following an injury to Jack Hamilton. Kieran signed for the uh, Rangers uh, in 2016 and enjoyed loan spells at Albion Rovers, Rafe Rovers, Aloe of Athletic, Partick Thistle and Dumbarton as well as featuring for Scotland under-17s, under-19s, under-21s under level. The club would like to thank the SPFL, the SFA and Rangers FC Director of Football Operations, Craig Robertson for the help in making it possible. Rangers added goalkeeper Kieran Wright will be joining Livingston on a one week emergency loan. Good luck, Kieran. Mental. I have never heard of such thing in my life. I didn't even know you could do a one week emergency loan. And to be fair, his Wikipedia page in terms of the clubs he's been at in his short career is starting to look pretty hectic. He's going to have like a Nicholas and Elka sort of career. I think how many how many clubs has he been at? Uh, Livingston for one appearance by the looks of things as well. It's going to be um, Alloa, Dumbarton, Partick Thistle. Uh, Rafe Rovers, Albion Rovers. He's seven clubs on his CV already. And he's only in his early 20s. That's absolutely mental. Um, but yeah, Rangers fans, um, again, look... <laughs> there is no more talking it's a, a massive game of course this weekend and depending on when you're watching this video um, if it's tomorrow obviously Celtic playing Hearts I'm hoping Hearts can do us a favour do us a turn for our poor performances in those last two games against Ross County and Dundee that took the title out of our hands essentially um, but we need to get our win guys I, I spoke this morning we need to not just get three points yes that's the most important part but we need goals we need to score goals tomorrow well on Sunday we need to score four, five goals in a game. I've not seen us score five goals in a game since Heart of Midlothian. We're capable at Ibrox 50,000 uh, fans. Then I hope the crowd just make them, push them, push the players to score five or six goals. We really need to get that goal difference up. It's a needs must. Um, but that's all I've got for you guys today. Please do know your thoughts on the uh, the deal that has been agreed. Have you ever heard of a seven day loan, emergency loan? Never heard that in my life. Um, also, let me know your thoughts on Connor Goldson being out for the remainder of the campaign. Is that a blow or is that a boost? What, what way would you look at it? And do you think the club should sign Oscar Cortez permanently again? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.